This was a video I made for the students at CalArts who were completing their final projects in 3D. So even though you'll see their show file and rig in this video, the information will translate to any MA2 file. Let's take a look at two things that you could use when you're producing your visualizer videos. First is the DMX cam that will move our viewpoint around, and then moving paths that allow us to move objects around. To add in our DMX cam, open our patch and fixture schedule, and make a new layer. In library, look under MA Lighting for the camera controller. I'm putting it in a universe that we're not using, and I'm going to give it a new name. Now he's in, but not yet assigned. In your stage view, you've already got your camera pool. You could store a new camera for this, but I'm going to copy your front camera so that the DMX cam's defaults, they'll be the same as the front camera. If we edit this item, we see the column called Fixture, and this is where we assign our DMX cam. Now anytime that this is your selected camera, your DMX cam is active and we can move around. So I'm going to select Fixture 4001, and we can use the Pan and Tilt, Zoom and XYZ parameters, which I think you're going to find really useful. Even though it's your default, I like to store the first position as a preset. So I'm going to double click please to activate all the parameters, and then I'm going to save it into the all preset pool. Let's make a second preset. I'll also store it into the all pool. So now if I toggle between them, we have some quick camera movements. Because these are all values in my programmer, they can be stored into my cues like any other attribute. Here's house right, and I'll store him here, and then I'll use the other preset as my second cue. Of course, I have to name this. Right now, if I play the cues, it just cycles between the two looks. But if I change the fade time, then we get a smoother look that you could use at any point in your final videos. And beyond just changing the fade time, I'd recommend playing with your cue list paths so that you can make this a little smoother. I especially like low low, but try them and see what you like the best. All right, now let's take a look at moving paths. We're gonna go into patch and fixture schedule again, add a new layer, and then uh, just like DMX cam, this is under MA lighting. There are a few moving path items, but if you select the moving path, translate, rotate, scale, you pretty much get all the options. I'm going to call him 5001 and put him in an empty universe, and I'm going to name it Downstage Truss. This is the truss that I want to move up and down. In your 3D, if you don't see assets, click view and select the assets window. And now you can see your objects. We want to find 3D objects. 
And this right here, downstage truss, this is our new moving path that we just added. Nothing's attached to the path yet. So I want to find the downstage truss objects and the four lights that are hung on it. The truss pieces live in the truss folder. And when I click on the actual object, you can see it highlighted in the assets. I'm going to hold shift just to select both of these. And then I'm going to move them down to the downstage truss moving path. You don't want to just move them above or below. You want it to be part of it. So if you hover just over the word downstage truss, when you let go, it should look like a tree structure. Downstage truss is now the parent of the two pieces of our truss. Let's do the same thing with the four movers. Again, just clicking on them, holding shift to select multiple items, and then same thing. I'll drag these four down into the downstage truss tree. Now everything here is linked to this moving path, so when I move it on the desk, everything's going to go with it. I'm noticing that the items all move just a bit, so I'm going to manually fix that here. Now I'm grabbing fixture 5001, and if I move the z-axis, you can see the whole thing moving up and down, sort of like if it was on motors. You can see that it is passing right through that side truss because this has no care for the rules of physics. You can move these however you like. You can also scale the 3D objects with this. You can rotate. Again, no bearing in physics. It's all possible. All these parameters can, of course, be stored in presets and into your queues. And just like what we did with the DMX cam, if you put a different path, like low-low, then you'll get something that looks a little bit more like a true movement.